wasn't really a tomboy, but I wasn't really a girly girl either. I was just kind of a kid and I was loud. I was a loud kid and I was a bossy kid. And I liked, you know, like every actor probably tells you to put on plays. I like to put on plays with my friends. And so it made sense, I guess, to show me movies. The first movie I remember seeing, or at least that had a big impression on me, was The Jerk, starring Steve Martin and Bernadette Peters. I could only wish to be Steve Martin. I had been acting in, in youth theater and things like that and doing sketch comedy since I was 11. It was, you know, like kids join the debate team, I joined improv class. I mean, I think I just kind of realized as high school hit that I just wanted to do more. And then there came a moment where I thought, well, I want it, what I really want to do is, is I really want to be in movies if it's possible because that's my favorite medium, I guess, of uh, acting in a way. And, um, and so I asked my parents and they eventually said yes. I did a PowerPoint demonstration. There was a fair amount of alliteration and there, were, there was music. The song Hollywood by Madonna was in it, which was really that was some heady stuff. And uh, <laughs> there were pictures of uh, there were pictures of some actors that had started young, you know that that you know because why did I need to move at fourteen instead of waiting to graduate high school? And I thought ahead and thought that might be a question, and uh, put pictures of, of various people like Sarah Jessica Parker, um, and people like that that had started at a younger age. I convinced them <laughs> and. And my mom and I went out to LA for pilot season from Phoenix and um, it was rough at first. And I was very over the top because I came from sketch comedy and theater background and I had no idea how to bring it down to, you know, a teaspoon instead of a bucket. You know, when I was auditioning all the time, it was, you know, because I would go on five or six auditions a week and they would send me the log lines of the character. And if it said beautiful or gorgeous or pretty even, they would delete it before they sent it to me because I would immediately call them and go, this, is, I will not be guessed. It's not gonna happen. Not to put myself down or anything, but I just always wanted to be a comedian. And so I always thought, you know, more, way more important to be funny or to be honest than to look any certain way. The only uh, people I've met that are a very specific group of um, fans of any certain movie were Zombieland because the zombie fans are, it's unbelievable. There, there is such a thing as zombie purists, which means people that believe that zombies need to be slow moving and dead and our zombies were fast moving and alive but infected so we were just, we were gonna be excommunicated from the zombie community by a fair number of zombie fans. Sadly, it's kind of a rarity to read a script where um, the female character is genuinely funny and not just, you know, kind of a, a sounding board for a male character. Easy A kind of felt, that character to me felt like she could be um, in a different situation or a different age and it might still kind of be a, a similar story. When we actually shot it, I learned how difficult it is to simulate sex for that long, from that many different angles. It's, it's a real workout, simulation of sex. So, uh, it, we, we must have done a hundred takes, total. Because it was from here, and then from here, and then from here, and then from here, and then from here, and you know, it's multiple takes on each angle. It took two days. But it was fun, it was really fun. There was a lot of water, there were some inhaler puffs. That's not a joke, actually. There was an oxygen tank at one point. I'm a delicate flower. 